Oh, oh it's right. Hi, <laughs> Chelsea's <laughs> moving me around here. I, I'm Mammy. And I'm Chelsea, and this and is... we want to welcome you to Cast Iron <laughs> and Canning Jars. See, I'm a little backwards today, but we get it done, right? And we are testing something out. We have these um, mics here. We're not sure if they're going to work, so we'll see if they work on here. They worked on a video that we did before, but we don't know how they work live. So hopefully we've had some people saying that they can't hear us well, so Uncle Bobby got us some mics, so we're going to see how they work. Okay. <laughs> How will we not? Oh, look at hearts already, I Chelsea. Know. I like looking at it from this angle. What mm -hmm. do you think? Okay. Well, let me tell you, it's overcast and it's cool. In Moving fact, Chelsea over. kind of thinks it's uh, feels it, good. You know, <laughs> coming close to fall. But now I got a feeling we got a little bit longer. But people are telling me we're going to have an early winter, and some Chelsea got me taking note of when we have fog. Because why is that? It, I read something that for every fog that you have in August equals a measurable snow in the in the winter. Well, let so us hope got, not. Let us hope not. We've got like at least four so far. Yeah, we've got four, and I'm thinking, oh, Lordy mercy, will I ever get all my stuff gathered up so I don't have to go anywhere? <clears throat> okay, excuse me. We're going to make a couple of interesting things. Uh, we have not, uh, I haven't had... Before. Mom's made the sandwiches before. Oh, mercy. And I've been wanting to make these cookies. Well, she must so. not let me have any of either one of them. So there we go. <laughs> no sandwiches or anything. Okay, so you want to tell them what the sandwiches are, Chelsea? Yes, we are making some um, smoked sausage sandwiches, but they're a little bit different than just like just throwing it on a bun. Mm. And we're making banana pudding cookies. Mm, now, doesn't that sound good? Banana pudding cookies. I love it. Okay, are we about ready to get We're started? Ready. We're going to get started on the cookies. So my okay. oven is preheated to 350. Oh, and make sure that you guys sprinkle or share. Yeah. <laughs> um, let us know where you're from. We are in Xenia, Ohio, but Mamie is originally from Morgan County, Kentucky. So. I sure am. And you know what? <laughs> I, I am just tickled to death when I get a, uh, a letter or a card to look at where everybody's coming from because we got people watching from all over. We do. Uh, we have a lot in Texas. Yeah, a Texas lot. loves us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have, we have, yeah, <laughs> Texas is the biggest one yeah. right now that we have. We also have folks from England, mm -hmm. Canada, mm -hmm. we're, Ireland. We have yeah. one from, uh, one or two from Ireland. Yep. So we're just tickled to death the Havians with us. You know, this is like our family meeting on Sunday. So I'm glad you all could come in. I guess I better quit talking so Chelsea can start her into the cooking, okay? <laughs> here she All goes. right, here we go. I'm gonna to turn you around. We started a little different this time. You did, you threw me off. <laughs> I threw her off. off. All yeah. right, so. Well, if I can get this situated a little bit. Try to get you situated, guys, I'm sorry. There we go, maybe. I don't know why this isn't turning for me. Is like your you got, foot in the way, Chelsea? No, you've got something underneath there. <laughs> oh, yes, I do, of course. Did you put something new in there, under there? No. No? Not a thing. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get started on our cookies. Like I said, it is preheated to 350. This is one stick of butter, so half a cup of butter. And to that butter, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. That's just regular old granulated sugar. I already got one of those out of the top. Oh, oh. Do you? I well, thought. Maybe I didn't. Now you got two. I thought I thought about getting it. Oh, did you? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm just going to cream these together using an electric mixer. You can do it by hand if you want to. One cup of sugar and a half a cup of butter. Just creaming that together. You want you want it to end up being creamy looking, like uh, not broke up like this. So you just keep going until you until it looks creamy. looking good and now to that I'm gonna add two eggs and let me tell you about these eggs maybe only had one egg so I had 
<laughs> you know, squeeze a chicken. These, these cookies are made by the neighborhood, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they had to go squeeze the chicken. Yeah. Ooh. And I don't have any chicken, so you know what that means. <laughs> so there's two eggs. Oh, can't throw that away. I would do that for you, Chelsea. Oh, I got it. Right. Take that in. You pretty good for it. What? You pretty good for it. I'm out of one. I'm trying to keep out of their way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next. I'm going to add one mashed banana, and I've already got it mashed here. There we go. Well, I remember feeding them to my kids <laughs> when they were little. Just set it over, Chelsea, and I'll be it. Okay. I'll go ahead and mix that in. There we go. I'm going to set that kind of aside. And here's my flour. Did you have this out for a reason? I used it. There was stuff that oh, had sugar okay. in it. Okay. Yep. Where did the... I didn't take it. You did. Well, I got the banana out with it. A spatula? Yeah, that's all right. I took it. I'll just use a whisk. <laughs> Dear, I took <laughs> I it. I know you did. So here I've got two and a half cups of flour. I'm going to add one package of the banana cream pie pudding mix. Mmm, mmm. This is really going to be good. Mm-hmm. Good stuff in it. And then I've got a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm just going to whisk this together. Mm. I just want all that to be incorporated before adding it to it so that there's no, it's all going to incorporate well. Plus, if you're using a whisk on this, it also helps to sift it too if you. Oh, okay. See? Well, it sure does, doesn't it? <laughs> Nothing like that old time. Is that instant pudding mix? This was instant pudding mix. It's just a small package of banana cream pie instant pudding mix. All right. Now I'm going to bring this back over. Not until... We have not ordered them yet. Tomorrow is the last day for our um, pre-orders. Once we get all the pre-orders in, we will be ordering the books. And then uh, we'll order a few extra, but we can't guarantee that we will have them for you, whatever we... Yeah. They go um, pretty fast. They do. So uh, just make sure you get your pre-orders in. And if we order them, then they should be here by the beginning of October. So fingers crossed, then we will be very tired after that. <laughs> getting them <laughs> all getting out. Them all out. <laughs> now, Chelsea, right. was that plain flour? That was all-purpose flour, yeah. Okay, all-purpose. Yep. Ooh. I'm just going to mix this in. I'm going to use my left hand. It's really hard. <laughs> I just want this to come together. And it's okay if it doesn't come all the way together because we're going to use a spatula. Or a, yeah, I need a rubber scraper. Okay. Um, Chelsea, that was... Uh... That was baking soda that you put in there, baking not baking soda. powder. Yeah. yeah. All right, so there's my dough, but that's not everything for the dough. Next, I'm going to add one cup of white chocolate chips. Woo-wee, now that's looking good. That was all-purpose flour, correct? Yep. Okay. And she'll put the uh, recipes on. Yes, I'll put the recipes on after the show. And then this is one cup of um, broken up. I didn't crush them like super fine, but just broken up vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers. Okay. Here we go. I'll get it. There's that. All right. I'm just going to kind of mix this in by hand. You need spray for this. Nope. Just try to get those all in the right spots there. It smells just like banana pudding, guys. It is wonderful. We have a place up in New Carlisle that Maddie likes to go get ice cream. It's called Arrow Queen. And she likes to get the banana pudding ice cream and get it dipped in the chocolate that hardens. She loves it. I 
bet you could drizzle chocolate around on those. I probably could. Just like that. They probably would be. Mm -hmm. All right, got all that mixed up. And this is a no chill cookie dough. You'll we'll have to chill that. A no chill. No chill. I don't, I don't usually make cookies that you have to chill because um, I'm not patient. When I want cookies, I want them in 10 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> All right, I'm just taking a cookie scoop. This is a small one. I see Linda Rigsby from Xenia, Ohio. Hi, Linda. This is probably... Just told her we were from Xenia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this I'm using this mat. This, mat. this is like one of those nonstick mats. Mm-hmm. Um, I can post them on here, but they're really good because you don't have to spray them or anything. I'll post them on there later, but you don't have to spray these, so that's what I'm using. So I'm just taking them by scoop. These are about tablespoons or so, and I'm very picky about my cookies. I like them to look good, so I make sure that I level it off. All of them are the same. You want to... Unlike her mamma that just gets they a just, spoon down in there and drops do. them on there. That's why I got her a cookie scoop. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Sometimes I remember it and sometimes I don't. And I'm just doing two inches apart, which is standard for when you bake cookies, usually. Now, how many did you say that'll make, Chelsea? Yes, I will after the show. I sure will. And we'll also share a little bit after the show as well. Well, towards the end of the show, we'll also talk more about it. I will, sorry, how many did you say? What'd you say? How many did you say that will make? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 36. 36? Maybe. Lord. Well, we got I'll have some eat. Nine. Today. On there. Huh. Can you guys hear us any better with these mics on? Are they working? Could you hear me while our, we, I was mixing? I don't know. It makes it pretty noisy. I know. <clears throat> I'm hoping that I'm not like breathing into the mic. <laughs> Chelsea, <laughs> you are. She is a crackerjack, guys. I tell you. Because I just know it. I'm always rushing, so you never know if I'm going to be breathing into that mic. You can hear better. Good. Oh, good. Thank you, Uncle Bobby. <laughs> he All takes right. care of us. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven. My oven is at 350 and we're gonna bake them for 10 minutes or until they're kind of golden brown on the outside, on the edges. You don't need a pot holder right this minute. Not yet. You will the next time around. Yep. All right. We'll do 10 minutes. Somebody got me an awful pretty uh, pot holder. Look at that. And there's one over at Chelsea's house just like it. One so who got that. it. I got it. So, see, what happened was yeah. I, I had two of them. I said, Mamie, you can have one. She said, no, you got those for yourself. You keep it. And then I come in the kitchen after she had been at my house. I said, I'm only down to one. Mamie, did you take one? She said, you said I could have one. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Uh, they are the cutest. I got them in a Hobby I Lobby. Love I love them. All right. Now we're going to move on to our um, sandwiches. So I am going to get the stuff back over there. She's going to get the stuff back over. Are you finished with this? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me take care of that and get that out of the way. I'll just move it, put the stuff back where it goes, and here we go. All right. Then we'll get the other stuff <laughs> over there. All right. So we've got one of the kielbasa, you know, like the, what are they? Just the pieces of kielbasa. Uh -huh. Polish sausage, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. I'm cutting about two inch pieces. And then, well, I'm going to cut this end off here. So nobody chokes on that. Lordy mercy. <laughs> and then I'm taking them and I'm just going to cut them down the middle just like that. I'm going to scoot up just a little bit there, Chelsea. What? Oh, can you scoot? No, no, no. I'm just moving that stuff. Oh. Okay. Looking here at what I was putting together. We'll just cut those right in half. And then we're going to fry these. Okay, now what? I'll fry them. Maybe we'll fry them. What time you're doing the rest, well, I'll fry them. I'm going to show them what they should look like. Okay. 
So well, that is if, if I don't, don't burn them. Now I like them burnt Me though, too. people. I am so sorry. Me too. I like them. Chelsea come in. She saw these. She said, "Well, those look good to me." And those I said, look good too back there. I said, "Well, look at here what I did. I got carried away talking." Now that's the good. See, thing I like there. those. I've already ate two pieces of that. Chelsea Nicole. Show. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Mammy's just gonna fry these all on each side until they look like that over there. <laughs> Which one? This one or that? One? Either one is good. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Well, everybody don't think like we do, though, Chelsea. <laughs> the link the is castironincanningjars.com slash shop. Okay, Mom's going to try to put it in there. Sometimes it won't let her do what she wants to do. Yeah. Okay. You want me to get off of you? You, you, guy, you can if you want to. <laughs> you can go on about wants, doing your stuff. She wants me to get off of her. Yeah, I can't do this. With my nimble little <laughs> <laughs> Jolene. Oh, I need a pan to put these on. A pan? You may have a problem. Mm -hmm. You know what? I do not. There, that's only it that right there. That's one that you, I'll get it for you. Let me see if I can. All right. Let me see. So. There we go. I'll put, I'll get it up here and get me a thing. All right. So you want these Italian bread. And I'm just trying to, there we go. Undo that. And I've already cut one of them in half. You're just going to take it with a serrated knife so it's easier. <laughs> and we're, you're just going to cut it right down the middle. And I'm going to start up here at the top. And these are on clearance, so you know, <laughs> you know where I shop. That's right. <laughs> That's the best place to shop. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to cut it right down the middle, just like that. I'm going to slide this over. I've already cut the other ones. We're going to make two sandwiches. You know, Chelsea, it's almost like a um, Reuben sandwich. Kind of. Only you're using only with, a different kind of meat. Yep. I mean, with all the stuff that you're putting on it now. I know. So. I use soap and I use our little um, our little pot scrubber and I'll show you here in just a second what what, what I use. There you go, Chelsea. All right, we got it. There we go. Got my pan here and I'm gonna lay both sides of this. So this I'm actually gonna put the bottom on this side towards me. Can this I is the bottom here real quick, Chelsea? Yeah, here I'm gonna hold on. Let me turn it towards you. Okay. This, what I do is I wash my uh, skillets in soapy water, just put it in with the rest of my dishes, and I scrub it with our little uh, skillet scrubber, cast iron skillet scrubber, or pot scrubber. And it's a chain, it is a chain, and you can hang it up and it drips real dry real easy with a little hanger. And then when I get them washed up and rinsed good, then I put it on the stove and I get it real hot. Once it's gotten hot and, you know, dried real good, then I take a little bacon grease or a little oil, if I don't have any bacon grease up, grease up, and I oil it real good, and then I let it sit there till it cools. But I turn it off before I put the uh, bacon grease on it, and it just sits there and, you know, kind of works its way there. And then I don't have any problem with them. Next time I get it out, it's ready to go. Okay, Chelsea, All right, take it back. We'll make the sandwiches now. I'm making her work for her money today. <laughs> She's working me, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm turning you back around. So I've got that on there. Ooh, if I can get you back situated. There we go. And what we're going to do next is on the bottom half, I'm going to take some mayonnaise, and this is all to your tasting. I like mayonnaise. And I'm going to just put a little bit on there. And then make sure I spread it all. You're a miracle whip person. I don't like Miracle Whip. But most some folks do. Some folks do. Maybe this will be good with Miracle Whip. Never had it with Miracle Whip. I, are we sisters, Mammy? Oh, God love you. I don't know who said that. <laughs> no. 
that's, that's my that's my mammal. That, 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 that I'm her mammal. That's, that's my mammal. God love you. <laughs> that's the best thing that's been said to me all day. <laughs> and then on the top half, I'm gonna do some spicy brown mustard. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Is that and gray if you, poupon, Chelsea? No, it's spicy brown. Oh, well, what's, I thought gray poupon. I think gray poupon is Dijon, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know the difference. Is it me. spicy brown? Huh. Mom doesn't like this, so she's not going to be eating this. No, she said she's going to eat it. She has to try at least to bite. <laughs> she's made it before, but I think she put regular mustard on it. Y'all know our likes and dislikes around here, huh? <laughs> We're picky people. No, I'm just kidding. So, no, we're not either. next, I'm going to take some of these um, sausages, and I'm just going to lay them here on the bottom here. And the reason why you wanted to cut them in half like that is so that they're going to fit easier on here. Because if you didn't cut them into little pieces here, you'd have to get three sausages, like, and lay them across. So this is just helps you to be able to fit these on here a little better. Cause see, I can lay three across right there and then it covers my whole thing. There we go. Next, I'm gonna take some Swiss cheese. And if you don't like sauerkraut, I think these would be really good with some sauteed onions. So like cook you up some onions and put on here. If you don't like sauerkraut, I think will be really good. So I'm just gonna take the Swiss cheese and I'm just gonna lay it across here. Maybe four slices looks like. And then we'll take some of this sauerkraut. That's not our homemade sauerkraut. It's not our homemade sauerkraut. And I'm just going to take it and put it across the mustard part. like that. Now this is Kroger's homemade sauerkraut. <laughs> then I've got some banana peppers. These are just mild banana peppers. I'm gonna stick them across there. Really? Go. There we go. go. Go on. And this is gonna go in the oven as soon as those cookies get done. They'll be done in 30 seconds. These will go in the oven or this one will, at 350 for like 10 minutes. You just want the cheese to melt and the bread to get a little toasty. So, I'm, maybe you want this? Well, honey, I have this. I just want to put it back on that one. Okay. Go ahead and put it on there. Ooh, Lord's had to have to do the sauerkraut, they said. Yeah. Mamie's doing a great job over here, guys. I Again. sure am. I'm whipping this stuff right around now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn this timer off. You want me to get out of your way? You, yeah. Whoa, Lordy. Oh, I'm moving my, I'm not used to these little mics. Oh, you sound like a windstorm in it. I know. You want me to, well, hold on, let me get okay. that. There, go. Are you sure? Get it, Chelsea. All right. Oh. Look how cute our little cookies are. Now, will they brown? Oh. They, they start getting golden. You don't want to remember how you do with cookies? No. You don't want them to get all the way done. Oh. Because, I mean, you want them to get all the way done, but they're done whenever they don't look done. Oh, they're gonna okay. They're going to cool down. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's why mine is kindly hard and crusty, huh? Yep, because you leave them in too long, you cook them till they look done. You gotta cook them till right before. You're right. Yep. You're right. So this is what the cookies look like now that they are done. I'm not gonna touch them yet though. I'm gonna leave them just like that, and for a few minutes until I uh, move them onto the cooling rack. But if I did it right now, they're so soft that they'll just fall apart on me. So that's those, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that sandwich in the oven. Okay. I think I'll actually put it in for 10 minutes and then I'll check it. Are you going to broil it or bake no, it? Bake it. Okay. So you're going to bake it. Uh huh. For 10 minutes. Uh huh. Okay. Then you're going to put the other one together also? Yeah. Do you want me to put it together right now? Oh, no. You don't no. have to. Wait, wait till you get your cookies off of there. Well, my cookies have a couple minutes. 
The recipe is not in the first cookbook, but I'll put it in the second cookbook. Okay. Now, you want your rack over there? Um, no, we can leave it right there. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and talk to them? Uh, you, you, uh, yeah, we can. So, or we can wait. It's okay. Yeah. All right. So, we'll go ahead and let me see how these feel. Cause I, these are all, this is all staying out because i got to make another sandwich. No, I can transfer those. We'll go ahead and bring that over and we'll transfer. Okay. Move it over here. Wow, we have 739 people watching. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, wow. bless your heart. Thank you for coming <laughs> and being with us. I gotta get that crumbs off there a little bit. There All we right. go. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna just transfer these to the cooling rack. They should be, they should hold up. I'm pretty gentle with them. And then they'll finish cooling on the cooling rack. You know, my mom doesn't like warm cookies, y'all. Isn't that the weirdest thing in the world? Mm. Do you like warm cookies, Mammy? Yeah, I like them warm. Mom doesn't like warm cookies. Oh, especially a chocolate cookie. Oh, a chocolate chip that. cookie with milk. Mm -hmm. Just getting these transferred on here. Don't they look pretty? They do. Now, if you wanted to fancy them up a little bit. You could drizzle some white chocolate on them. Yeah, or chocolate chocolate. Because mm -hmm, right? Maddie really likes chocolate with hers. <laughs> Getting those. Now, did you say you have not made these before? I have not, but I have been wanting to make them. I oh. have had them pinned on Pinterest forever. Probably a few years now. Really? Well. And hmm. I decided, why not? Mammy says I've been slacking on making desserts. That's what I told her. Look, that one broke a little bit because I wasn't being as Oh, well, Darren, I'll have to try that one. Broken cookies think. don't have calories. So oh, well. Like when they break, it just falls out of them. I see. Hmm. There we go. Uh -huh. So now they're all done there. And now I can you probably wanna... take this off and do the other sandwich on here. Or should I just go ahead and bake some more oh, cookies? Oh, just bake some more cookies. Make some more cookies? Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. Then we, we're going to put the other uh, sandwich on. No, we can put the other sandwich on that when those other cookies are Okay. Or you can get another one. It's up you, to you. But wait, do you need something to lay it on, put them on when it comes out of here hot? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So here's the banana cookies again, and we'll make some more. Because we'll find out here in a minute how many it's going to make, won't yeah. we? Yeah. So I think you want to go on in there and chit chat while I... I can do that. I sure finish can. doing this. I'll take that in there. Mm hmm I sure can. All right. Let we'll me... Follow Mammy. Follow Mammy. Got to turn, turn this around. Well, there's Jolene. We had somebody ask us to to show some of the animals more often. Well, there's Jolene getting in trouble. Look at this. Yes. Making yes. a mess. About to tear something up. She got my cat. <laughs> my mouse. My mice for my cat. That's what she's got. We'll have to get her. Yeah. <laughs> Just have to work with her. Oh, goodness gracious. I had to have Bobby Ray come in here and explain a couple things to me today about some of the things I was talking about. Oh, mercy. There we go. Okay. Oh, you moved on me. I'm sorry. There you go. Can I not move? Do no, I have to stand now. here like this? Just don't go that way. Don't go that way. Okay, yep. stay this way. Okay, y'all let me know if I get to wobbling around too much here. Let me tell you, Bobby Ray brought this in to us yesterday. And uh, I just love to see what he, you know, what he finds and brings in to us. And he brings them in for us to share. Of course, you know, this is our, our reminisce segment, so I'm looking forward to taking some of the stuff to old timers days, which we'll tell you more about in a little bit, because uh, we're gonna have a reminisce section there when we go um, to set up that. But anyway, back to this. I did not know what this was. It says a nice old punch card. Uh, they were placed in stores and other businesses, giving the customers the opportunity to win a prize. Well, I had not seen one of these, and I just couldn't figure it out. I sat and I read on it to see what it to see what it was. Here come Bobby Ray. <laughs> he's going to be your my backup, uh, and so he came in and he was sharing with me today how how it works. You want to tell how it works, Bobby? Go ahead. Okay. He he's behind the scenes man. Uh, this is the little key right here, and you take it and you you buy. Uh, the chance to do that, and it would be five cents per, uh, what is it called, Bobby? 
you poke the hole in there. And uh, anyway, it's five cents to do that. And you push it in. And if you push it all in, back on the back side comes out a paper that tells you. A number. Uh, with a number on it that tells you what you uh, have won. And it tells you here, you know, the different numbers. What Like for 25 cents, if you get 25, 50, 75, 125, and so on, then you win $25. Or excuse me, 25 cents. And then over here is the same thing. I don't know how many of you may have seen these before, but uh, the kids were telling me that my cousin, her husband had it in a little store. And I'm sure my husband helped him, helped him uh, clear this board because he always liked things like this. But that was, was so interesting to me. And I got it down this morning. I thought, well, Lord, I don't know how you'd know whether you won or not. But then on this particular card, it looks like two places have been have been pushed through, and that's the only one. But if you have ever uh, seen one or, or played on one, let us know, because I just think that is just the neatest thing. And to have the pen with it, that's the other thing, you know, that you use to, uh, to put it through. But uh, I thought that was just really a neat piece, too. And then I went to a garage sale, and of course, back in the day, I had a little re a record player course now this is not near as old as I am I think I couldn't find a date on it but the little records that was with it I believe they were 1981 so today I thought well I'm going to hook it up and see if it works and so I'm th it's got two speeds here it's got 45 and 33 so I'm thinking okay this is a 45 doesn't look what well wasn't our 45s like it Bobby's shaking his head but you know wasn't our 45s like this they were, but that's oh, a 33. Thank you, Lord, because you know what? I'm arguing with Corey. I'm saying, now it's a 45, and I put it on a 45, and it sounded like Donald Duck, you know, talking on it. But then I turned it over to the 33, and it just picked it right up and, and told the story. And with it was two little books. One of them was Camp, Camping Adventures with Barbie, and uh, then the other was Christmas Fun with Raggedy Ann and Andy. So I thought those were just really cute. And so I had bought a transistor radio too. And I was in tuning it in to our local country station, WBZI, and, uh, or trying to. And so my granddaughter, Madison, came in. She said, what is that, Mama? I said, well, honey, that's a radio. And she said, a radio? And I said, yeah. I said, this is how we used to listen to music when I was coming up on a radio. Oh, she said, we definitely got to get you another phone. <laughs> another phone. She said, you ever heard of Spotify? I said, no, I never did. So <laughs> she was just shocked. And then when she came in, she said, well, what is this thing? I said, this is a record player. So this is so interesting because nowadays kids don't know what we used to, you know, used to have. But of course, a long time we didn't have anything. But then we got the little transistor radios and then the little bigger ones and then those big old boom box. Remember those? You, know, you just have them out in the yard and you can hear them all over the place. But that was our that was our entertainment. I thought that was so cute though that she didn't know what it was. And then this little lady, I remember my mamma having some of these and just their little flower pot. And I just thought that was the prettiest thing. Uh, I told Bobby Ray when he came in, I said, son, you got some more of these out there. He's got several of them at his house. And he's also got the women's heads and they're, they're flower pots too, and they're real pretty. But I just think those are so dainty looking and pretty. But, um, so I wanted to share that with you. I'm sure some of you have had them or have them now. I know my mamma had some of them, and she had like frogs and do you know dogs. They were just flower, plant, or flower pots were made, you know, in all kinds of things back in the day. And they were just really pretty to have sitting around like that. And then, when I saw this, I thought, well, that's not like the oil oil bottle that that Bob, my husband, had. This, I thought, that's just a quart jar, and it just got the tops, uh, you know, screwed on it, but it's not a real oil can. Yes, oil jar, yes it is, and it's, but it's made different than the one that, um, that, I, that I have. Well, I've got a couple of his out there now, and one full liquid quart, it says, and this is, um, it says, well, fill to the arrow point there. But what was the brand of this, Chet Bonnie, or Bobby? It's, um, it says. 
it is more inclined, or claim, Incorporated, Boston, Massachusetts. More and Kling Incorporated, Boston, Massachusetts. So I just think that was that was nice. So like I say, the ones that that I've got are they seem like they're shorter, and there's a little place more better where you can get the grip, you know, to hold on to it. But they're pretty anyway. I like yeah, to have these things. Yeah, it's all for a car. They use them in service stations. Oh yeah, they used them in service stations. Somebody asked. Yeah. So that was, I thought that was a nice little piece too. I've got to, we'll be getting into some of the things, other things that we got out in the barn. So I'm anxious to uh, get the other ones and kind of clean them up and set them around a little bit because I haven't got any in the house now. So I think that's about it. I don't know what Chelsea's are doing with her cookies, but we can go back and check her out and see if our sandwiches are done. If you all are ready to go. All right. This just came out. Okay. Uncle Bobby's <laughs> taking me back now. <laughs> Jolene's fizzled out. He said it might be a milk bottle for a cow. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, for real, people are saying it could be a milk bottle for a cow. Oh, is, but that's a, you looked Where it up. It? People are saying that could be a milk bottle for a cow. No, that's it's an oil bottle for cars where they used to yeah. drink it out of a tank into that and put it in your car. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You hear what Bobby said? He said it's a, it is an oil bottle for a car. He said they used to crank the oil out of a tank and put it into that bottle and put it into your car. You didn't, you know, you didn't buy it on the shelf. They had to fill it up and and do that. Ooh, Chelsea. All right, so our sandwich is done. So now oh all we got to do is we're going to take this top. Oh my goodness. We're just going to flip it over top just like that. And then we're just going to cut this into pieces. Now you're going to cut it in an angle or square? There you go. I'm just gonna cut it square. <laughs> well, you don't like my square. It just depends. I'm just gonna cut it. I don't care. I'm just cutting cook, it into four pieces. You're the cook today. I don't care okay. what you do with. It. I'm just cutting. I'll it eat into it. Four doesn't pieces. matter to me. Isn't that pretty though? Where's and you know, if you had a toothpick and an olive, stick it in the Where's top. The knife? Of it. There you go. There it is. <laughs> she lost her knife, people. I found what it. What are we gonna do? So I'm just going to cut it straight down the middle and then cut those middles in. Oh, okay. You had a plan then, Brian. Yeah. Right? I was trying to upset your plan. I was trying. No, I'm going to tell you. I'm just going to cut it. I suppose we ain't going to get nary olive either, huh? Olive? <laughs> olive on a toothpick. Just Listen, pretty I, ain't, I ain't fancy like that. <laughs> That's like Applebee's. Oh, is that the way that is? Is that the way that is? <laughs> oh, yeah. And cut that. That's going to be good. I'm telling you. And then we'll cut it down this one. Yep. That looks good. Let me get get us a plate here. We'll oh, you want to taste it? Well, you know, but I don't know if I get my mouth. Well, now I. That you just got to squish it. That might be. How about a, if I cut this one in thing. half? That, this way yeah, for that you. Looks good. I don't know, honey. I don't know if it's pretty, pretty big. I've seen them do it on television, take a big bite of something like that. Oh, you're you reckon I can sausage. do it? Let's see. Let's see. Let me get your sausage back on there. She's going to have to straighten my sandwich <laughs> up here. Let me scoot it over. Now, Chelsea, what would I eat this with? Uh, your mouth. <laughs> you hear her. She is just as mean as she can be, ain't she? I gotta get it lined up here so I can take. Uh, I can chew it. You gotta, you gotta squish it down. Squish it down. Okay. I say. Is that the way to squish it no, down? No, but you just pushed your sausage. Uh, it'll be okay. Listen, I, <laughs> it'll be all right. I'll, I'll just take a bite of it. I ain't proud. I'll eat it like this. My fingers. Are yeah, so but then you ain't gonna get a taste of the sausage, the sprout. And... Wait a minute. You're you're under under. I'm underestimating me. you. Uh huh. Mm. You did a great job. <laughs> okay, now I have a suggestion. What's their suggestion? Excuse me. About cutting the uh, at an angle. No. What's your suggestion? Bigger. Let's see how good well, she is. We're playing charades. <laughs> well, the reason why I did it that way is because so if we were to only cut it bigger. Mm -hmm. Then we would have, it would only cover this much. We had to cut them smaller so we could fit three here because oh. this is so wide it won't fit. Oh. So we could piece them together. 
See what I'm saying? Very good. You smell what I'm stepping in? I smell what you're stepping in, Chelsea. Good. Mm -mm -mm. It is good. Want to try the good cookie? Mm-hmm. Mm, this is good, folks, I'm telling you. See, we worked that all out, didn't yeah. we? We already had some people trying the cookies. Jolene, no. Jolene, <laughs> did she try the cookies? No, mm. she didn't. I gotta, gotta work, work on this sauerkraut or it's gonna taste like sauerkraut to me. Jolene, no ma'am. That tastes good, Chelsea. It tastes like banana pudding? It does. Mm-hmm. Good, because that's how... That's very good. Really? Yep, I like it. <laughs> good job. All so, right. I'm going to put that there because I'll get to eat it after a while. Now I'm going to flip us around. Okay, guys, you know to expect for your sausage to jump out like mine. Yes, unless expect you, it to jump unless out. you can figure out Let's a scooch over different close. way to do it there. There we go. Oh, bless your heart. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you again. Tomorrow is the the... Longer pieces going long ways. That would work too. Good idea. So longer pieces going from this way. Hey, it's a good idea. That's a good Sorry, idea. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, so tomorrow is the last day to pre-order our volume two cookbooks. They are twenty dollars a piece, and, and that's shipped. That's shipped. Mm -hmm. You can order them. <laughs> <laughs> you can order them at castironincanningjars.com slash shop, or you can write a check to Chelsea Owens uh, and send it to P.O. Box 157. That's Wilberforce, Ohio, 45384. Mm -hmm. And as long as it's dated for tomorrow, then you're still in the thing for the pre-orders. If you pre-ordered, that guarantees that you get a cookbook on our first shipment of them, which should be beginning of October. And you also get them signed by me, Mammy, Uncle Bobby, and Sorry. my mom. So we're going to make them have tired hands, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uncle Bobby went by and he said, okay. <laughs> Someone wants both of our recipe books. Uh, you, can go, you can also order our other one as well at the same address. And you can also send us a check as well. But just make sure if you send us a check for the first one that you put that you want volume one. Or if you're doing volume two, volume two. Or if you want both, just put both. And we can do that. Yep. So we're looking. Chelsea, did to that. yes, yes, we got your ones for two of them. Janie Loft, and we got yes, yours. we did. Yep. Yeah, we sure did. So we're we're excited. So as long as you guys order by tomorrow, you will be in it. So. Yep, you sure will. So we've got to get those pens and paper gotta going. Got to get them going. Yep. All right. Now, let's see. Anything else we want to talk about? Oh, what oh. about your apron? Oh, go ahead. No. Well, we also have our aprons. They're in yellow and they're in white. And I'm sometimes I say don't burn your goozle when Chelsea's trying to get me to eat something real hot. So I tell her she doesn't really. I'm just kidding you. Anyway, and that comes from goozle in the American English means it's a noun. And it says in the southern U.S. dialect down home where I'm from, it means throat, gullet, or goozle. And on the bottom we've got don't burn your goose when got our little logo on the side of it. Yeah. And you know what? It has pockets. I just hate to get a hold of an apron that hasn't got pockets. She, I can't oh, she's got them stuffed full. This and I do, I do, I do. I have them stuffed full. <laughs> you oh, in old timers' days. Oh, yeah. We have we we have old timers' days coming up. For those of you that are close enough around us and might be interested in coming, uh, it will be on uh, September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And we will be there all three days. And we'd love to meet some of you guys. We've had some people say they're coming. Yes. So we were excited. And yeah. we'll also be there signing books, too. If you guys buy books there, we'll be there signing Lord, books. Lord, have mercy. You didn't tell me that. We'll be there signing books. But we won't have we'll a second one yet. <laughs> no, we won't have our second Unless one. they come early, which... Yeah, <laughs> that would be wonderful. I kind of doubt it, but that yeah. would be wonderful. <laughs> but, uh, but we'll have some of our other stuff, our aprons and our pot holders and... I'm going to see if Bonnie will make a few coffee cups mm -hmm. and bring them to. And we have a couple other things, flags, and Uncle Bobby. Yard. And Uncle Bobby will be uh, there also with some of the reminisce stuff that Mammy always reminisces. He'll have be selling some of that stuff. Yeah. So if you want, if you've seen anything, you might see it there. Uh, where is it at? It is in Xenia at the fairgrounds in Xenia, Ohio. Yeah. 
they you put a picture of the I card. I did, and I can reshare that as well. Yeah, she'll reshare the card because they have a lot of other activities oh, going yeah. on it's, there. It's fun that day. Yeah, we we like it. They do a lot of different things. It's a lot of fun. So okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll see them next week. We will see y'all next week, and uh, we'll be working on those books. You know, when you make your orders, I'll. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep them down. So yeah, the law we shipped did. this week. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. So we're really pleased with that. Yep. All right. All right. Take Bye, care. guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.